Yeah, I probably should redo all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, this whole recording went to shit. Alright, so for the testing, we are going to be using the training area, of course. And for my current set, as you can see, I don't have uh, constitution yet. So this will be like your, like, like, like my um, baseline, you know, values. And then after that, I have sets made for constitution 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I also have stamina search ones, but we'll be using these later. For this part, we are focusing on constitution first. As for the switch skills, uh, I will be doing testing for both power shot and absolute power shot because I know there are a lot of players that you know have a have a have a preference. Some use power shot, some use absolute power shot. It really depends on your playstyle. So I will be doing testing for both so that you'll see how much it affects you when you uh, dash dance, you know, in a in a combat situation. So for this test, I will be uh, keeping my stamina at 150 because in quests, uh, without the spirit birds at least, you are kept at 150. So I just want to keep this standard, you know. And then how we are going to test this is that what I'm going to do is that I will do a, a combo and then we'll see how many sets of this combo we can do. And then you know use that use that number as a rough estimate as to how much stamina reduction constitution actually does uh, gives. So as for the combo itself, I'll be doing a sidestep, power, power. That is my combo. So we'll be counting one sidestep, power, power as one set, and then we'll see how many sets we can do. So then for other people, some of you might prefer charging sidestep and some of you might prefer dodge boat. So I will be doing a comparison between these two, seeing whether or not they use the same amount of uh, stamina or whether they actually are different. So as you guys know, Besides constitution, there are also other ways that we can reduce our stamina consumption, you know, namely your dash shoes and your and your dango skills. So uh, right now, what I want to do is I want to test how much reduction each of these things give. So how much reduction does dash shoes give? Um, how much reduction does uh, say dango glutton give? And you know stuff like that. And then we will use uh, those footages compared with the constitution zero footage, you know, so we can see exactly how much they reduce by. So something that was brought to my attention uh, was that in one of Tyler 69's uh, one of his recent videos, he actually mentioned that uh, the stamina reduction cap has been increased from 50% to I think it was 75% he said. And uh, you know, being the bow god, I want to trust him. And you know, since he put that uh, information out there. I want to test it out in this video as well. 
just to see whether or not it really has increased and also if it has I also want to find out uh, what the new cap is in rice so to do that right now as you can see I have my constitution 5 set and also apart from that I am going to be using a dash juice so this will be a constitution 5 plus dash juice and with this we shall compare this uh, footage with the constitution 5 footage and we shall see if the stamina reduction cap really has increased Hi. So it's been a couple of days since I last rec like since I recorded those last few footages. I know I'm slow. All right, shut up. Don't wrap it in. Shh. But uh, thanks to one of uh, Titus's new videos, I was reminded that the hunting horn also has a stamina use reduce uh, buff in some of the hunting horns. So. I decided I wanted to add this in along with all the other um, the other tests, but unfortunately, because I don't have any friends in in Monster Hunter Rise, sadly, uh, I I cannot have anybody test this out for me. So uh, I tried putting the buff on myself first, and then you know afterwards switching weapons to see if the buff would stay, but sadly it didn't so i can't exactly test this out with the bow so what i'm thinking of doing is uh just stick with the hunting on uh, for this for this part of the testing and then uh i think i'm just gonna have to roll around the training room <laughs> because i think that's the only way to to test uh, stamina use so yeah, I think I think that's what we're gonna have to use for this part of the testing. Alright, now time for stamina search. So for this part, we are focusing all on stamina recovery and seeing how much we can actually boost stamina recovery. So as you can see, I am using the dual blades for this part of the test and that is because I can use the demon mode, drain my stamina all the way to exactly zero and then from there, uh, we will you know, have the time on the screen to show you how fast the stamina recovery is with uh, starting with stamina search 0, 1, 2, 3 and then also 
we are going to be using uh, the hunting horns stamina recovery up see how much uh, that helps with stamina recovery and then also we are going to use stamina search 3 and the hunting horn uh, stamina recovery up together so we can see if uh, stamina search 3 is just straight up cap or if the cap has been increased from there as well uh, so as far as I know, Stamina Search and the Hunting Horn uh, Stamina Recovery up thing are the only two ways I know of to increase Stamina Recovery. So yeah. So now that we have all the testing out of the way, Let's go through everything we have learned from all the results, starting with the stamina reduction part. First off, yes, the stamina reduction cap has been increased to more than 50%. How much exactly, I don't know, but referring to Titus' video again, it is said to have been increased to roughly 70-75% to based on data miners information. As for my test results, it's not really possible for me to give you guys the exact numbers for how much stamina reduction is in effect and I know I probably scuffed some of those footages a little bit and also I can't explain the big difference that occurred between Constitution 4 and Constitution 5 in the power shot test but for Constitution level 1 to 5 I think it's pretty safe to say that it gives a 10% reduction per level. For the other reduction methods, Dash Juice, Pepper Sex, and Dango Glutton all gave the same amount of reduction which going off by pure estimation is about 25% each. Dango Fighter gives about 20% and the Hunting Horn Buff gives about 50%. Now while Dango Fighter gives the least reduction on all of these, we have to take into account how long each of these effects last as well and I have answers to that too. So starting off with the longest duration is the Dango Fighter. Dango Fighter lasts the entire quest even after cutting, meaning it is a permanent buff until the end of the quest. Dash use lasts about 3 minutes for use and for Pepper Sex it will last half of that time coming in at 1 minute 30 seconds per use. Dango Glutton also lasts 1 minute 30 seconds, but unlike Pepper Sack where you can choose when you want the effect to start, Glutton always starts at the very beginning of the quest. So personally, I find it to be basically useless because unless you can spawn in the monster's face, this skill will probably wear off by the time you even locate the monster. As for the Hunting Horn buff, it will last 1 minute. I know 1 minute isn't very long at all, but as long as you have a Hunting Horn user in your party with this buff, you can reapply it at any point in time, as many times as you want to. Now moving on to the stamina recovery part, going off of the timers that I have set on the screen earlier, stamina search 1 gives roughly an 8% increase, Stamina Search 2 and Hunting Horn buff are equal, which both give roughly a 16% increase, and Stamina Search 3 gives roughly a 28% increase. So if we round them off into simpler numbers, they give 10%, 15%, and 30% respectively. As for the Stamina Recovery cap, it looks like it continues to stay at 30% just like it did in War. Um, I will admit, I have not reached the 7 star quest yet, so perhaps there's an armor set there that stacks with stamina search 3, which would explain why data miners claim that the cap has been increased to 40%, but only time will help me find out. Apart from all that, just a couple of other interesting things that we've learned thanks to the testing. So first, Dodge Bolt will use slightly less stamina compared to Sidestep. 
I don't know how useful this information will be, but the information is there. And also, if you dodge roll with low stamina, you know, with the with the red flashing uh, effect on your stamina bar, your recovery animation from the roll actually becomes longer. So I think that gives us more of a reason to avoid ever getting into the, the that red stamina part. So yeah, I think that's basically all the other interesting things that we've learned. But that concludes everything that I have in store today. I don't know if I missed anything out, probably did, but um, let me know in the comments um, if you guys have any further information regarding this topic or have more things that you want me to test out. Hopefully you guys found this informative. I simply gave you the in-game test footages and my learnings. So speedrunners and meta chasers, do what you will with this information. I doubt Capcom will be doing an overhaul on these values, so the test results should hold up until the completion of the game itself. So feel free to come back to refer to any of these test results whenever you want. Also because I've referenced Tider so much, I will be including his channel down in the description below and also adding cards to the videos I referenced to earlier on. He's a master at the ball and seeks to inform other hunters about it. So go check out his channel to learn more about the bow specifically or you know simply to watch some incredible bow speedruns by him as well. But that's all from me today. I'm super excited for the upcoming update and for all I know it could have already been released by the time this video goes up. But uh hope you guys enjoyed the video, have fun in rise and as always. Happy hunting hunters.